Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix these blocky textures that appear on lava and sometimes near water sources in Zelda Breath of the Wild using Seamew Emulator. The first thing we want to do is come down here and download this. This is Nvidia Inspector and will be linked down in the description. Let's save this to our desktop. Once this is on our desktop, we need to right click here and create a new folder. Let's just call this folder Inspector. We want to put our downloaded zip into this folder. Once in here, let's go into our folder, right click and select Extract here. Let's now move this back to our desktop. The next thing we want to do is right click on this reference.xml and click edit. Once this is open, you want to copy this data. It will be linked down in the description in a copy pasteable format. You want to copy it and paste it right here under this settings line. Once pasted, come up to file and click save. We can now close this document. We now need to open nvidiainspector.exe. We now need to find our CMU profile. Simply type CMU into this window right here, and it should appear at the very top of this window once you open it. Once you have the CMU profile selected, you need to come over here and show unknown settings. Let's now enlarge our window. We need to scroll down to section 8, Extras. We are looking for the Tiled Cache option. There it is now. As you can see, it is turned on. We need to turn this option off. Click here, bring the drop down menu up and click off. Once you select off, click apply up here and make sure that it stays off. Once we are done with this, we can close Nvidia Inspector. Let's now launch our CMU app and make sure that the fix has worked. And perfect! As you can now see guys, we no longer have these horrible blocky textures on our lava and we also should not have this problem anymore near high flow waterfalls. As always, cheers for checking out the video guys, I really do appreciate it. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.